Hello everyone, welcome to the SQRT channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about a problem that you are seeing here. Here, we are given sine of 3 pi over 10. It is defined as radical 5 plus 1 over 4. Based on this, we need to find sine of pi over 20 plus cosine of pi over 20. Let's see how we are going to solve this interesting problem now. To solve this problem, I'm going to use an interesting trick. I'm not sure how you're going to solve it, so if your approach is different, let me know in the comments. For now, I'm going to multiply both sides by radical 2 and then divide it by radical 2. Let's see what we are going to have and then I explain why I'm doing that. If I multiply by radical 2 and then divide by radical 2, I'm going to distribute this division to each term. So I'm going to end up with radical 2 times sine of 5 over 20 times 1 over radical 2 plus cosine of pi over 20 times 1 over radical 2. Now let's talk about what we are going to end up if we do this approach. But first, think about it for a moment, see if you understand where I'm heading to. The reason that I multiplied by radical 2 and then divided by radical 2 is I want to replace this 1 over radical 2 with a cosine and sine that I am aware of. Basically, I know that cosine of pi over 4 is 1 over radical 2 and also sine of pi over 4 is 1 over radical 2. So I'm going to replace the first one with cosine of pi over 4 and the second one with sine of pi over 4. If I do this, I'm going to end up with cosine of pi over 4, sine of pi over 20 plus sine of pi over 4, cosine of pi over 20. Obviously, I can rewrite it as sine of pi over 4 plus pi over 20. And then I need to use this radical 2 because I had it from the first step. So I guess you know what I did here. I replaced what I had for 1 over radical 2 with sine and cosine and then used an identity to replace and simplify everything. From here, what I need to do is to do a little bit more simplification. Let's focus on pi over 4 plus pi over 20. If we simplify it, we are going to end up with 5 pi plus pi over 20, which is basically 6 pi over 20, which can be simplified as 3 pi over 10. So I will end up with radical 2 times sine of 3 pi over 10. Now remember what we had from the problem. We are given sine of 3 pi over 10 already. We know that it's radical 5 plus 1 over 4. So I'm going to replace that and then find the final answer. So I'm going to replace sine of 3 pi over 10 with radical 5 plus 1 over 4 and then multiply by radical 2 to find the final answer as radical 10 plus radical 2 over 4. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more puzzles, math involved activities and problems from different math competitions and Olympiads, please subscribe to the channel. This is the SQRT channel and I hope to see you in the next video.